Greg Abbott is running for governor in Texas. Uh, he used to uh, be the attorney general there, and uh, he says he's got a very strong record of protecting women against internet predators. Oh my God. If anybody's going to protect women, it's going to be Greg Abbott, right? What's curious is that he is campaigning all over the state with Ted Nugent. Now, Ted Nugent is, of course, famous for crapping himself to get out of Vietnam because he's an unbelievable coward. But he literally did that. But he's also famous for something else, other than being a singer, I suppose, right? Is that he famously has said that he was attracted to and apparently had sexual relationships with underage girls. In fact, in a 1998 documentary uh, on VH1, he said this. While he was fighting a losing battle with his own addiction, his weakness for young women. Young girls were infatuated with Ted and when his willpower was put to the test, he failed miserably. Oh, they were just everywhere you had to get a crowbar, just pummel them. Knock them off the doorknob. They were hanging on your lingi. Um, yes, it, I, it could have been whiskey, it could have been drugs, but no, I was a wang-dang addict. I mean, I was addicted to girls. Addicted. It was hopeless. It was beautiful. Soon after his divorce, Ted found a new love, a young girl from Hawaii named Pele Masa. She was like a dream, a fantasy, exotic dream of mine to meet her. Ted was 30 years old, Pele just 17. Ted admits to a number of liaisons with underage girls, and while it may have raised eyebrows, it never raised the interest of local authorities. Ted charmed the girl's parents right along with his teenage lovers. And in the case of Pele, her mother signed papers making Ted her legal guardian. I got the stamp of approval of their, their parents. Because they figured better Ted Nugent is some drug-infested punk in high school. Well, you, you just said in the documentary, you're a drug-infested punk. So why would it be better since you were a creepy 30-year-old at the time having sex with underage girls? Is that amazing? He became her legal guardian in order to have sex with her. And Greg Abbott, Mr. Family Values, Republican candidate for governor in Texas, proudly puts his arm around this guy. Oh yeah, this is my guy! I mean, yeah, of course, he's the guy I'm trying to protect you from, theoretically, but it's okay, because he's conservative. In fact, let's go to the quotes uh, from Greg Abbott's communications director, Matt Hirsch. He explains, Ted Nugent is a forceful advocate for individual liberty and constitutional rights, especially the Second Amendment rights cherished by Texans. In other words, um, yeah, he might have sex with underage girls, but ah, he loves guns. Oh, I see. I, I must have misunderstood what was happening. Okay, that explains it. And they continue to say, while he may sometimes say things or use language that Greg Abbott would not endorse or agree with, we appreciate the support of everyone who supports protecting our Constitution. In other words, as long as he believes in our Second Amendment rights and likes to shoot pigs from helicopters, which is what he does, okay. Uh, I had a real hunter on the show recently, by the way, the black rhino hunter. Agree or disagree with him, okay, the guy hunts big game, and he said shooting uh, animals from helicopters is not real hunting. Of course not. Ted Nugent is a pussy, okay? So anyway, I, I'm not kidding. I can't stop saying it because he literally pooped in his pants to get out of Vietnam. Unbelievable. But what, if he's coming after your daughter, though, then he's a tough guy. If he's coming on to underage girls, he's a tough guy. But the so-called family values party in Texas, like, who cares? Who cares that he's a coward that he ran away from a war? Who cares that he had sex with underage girls? Ha, he loves guns and he's on our side. You know why? You know when they talk about all those Hollywood liberals? No, they're bitter. They're bitter that they don't have celebrities on their side. They consider this pant pooper a celebrity. So they're like, oh my God, we've got a celebrity on our side. You want to have sex with my daughter? Go ahead, go for it, Dad, go for it. You're the man. Second Amendment. Now, uh, if you're not convinced yet that Ted Nugent is a questionable character, we're going to give you a random video here that really has nothing to do with this story other than the fact that I love making fun of Ted Nugent. He was doing an interview uh, about if he was a good guy or not. First of all, the irony of his anger here is fantastic, but wait till you see what he says at the end. You are many things, but not. You are not moderate. I'm very moderate. If you examine how I conduct myself, I don't think a day goes by in my life for many, many years now that we don't do charity work for children. I offer you this. Have you done a lot of interviews? Decent number. Call me when you sit down across from someone who has more families with dying little boys and girls who get a call to take them on their last fishing trip in life. 
Call me when you meet someone who does that more than I do. Because that's really moderate. In fact, you know what that is? That's extreme. I'm an extremely loving, passionate man, and people who investigate me honestly without the baggage of political correctness ascertain the conclusion that I'm a damn nice guy. And if you can find a screening process more powerful than that, I'll s or s how's that sound? We have no idea where that unexpected outburst came from. The second part of it directed to a female CBS News producer who was off camera. Do you understand what he said there? If you can find something like that, I'll suck your dick. <laughs> That's what he said. Why would you say that, Ted? Why? And then he realized that he screwed up, so he sat there awkwardly for like a second and he's like, Oh, there's a chick. Oh, yeah, I'm straight. Oh, I'll oh, oh, fuck you. But why would you have sex with her if you, they found someone more compassionate than you? <laughs> Doesn't really follow the logic there, right? But he had to be like, oh, I, mean, I, w I wouldn't and I, because I'm not gay. I mean, I don't think I, I, I wouldn't. I'd have sex with you instead. <laughs> oh, Teddy. Oh, Teddy. Okay. <laughs> The Proud Family Values Party in Texas is campaigning with this guy. But if you find someone who is more extremely loving and passionate, as he just said in that interview, he will suck your dick. <laughs>